it is time. As you see, the guys, the work is stressful. All fingers are not equal. They are going to force me to change my religion. I will start covering my head and all those stuff. There is a world that is not peaceful for a stranger. Hey. Hi besties, welcome back to another day. Good evening guys, the time is 4.23 now. 4.23 now. I just finished with my work now guys and I go to my WhatsApp. I saw a message for someone. I dropped my WhatsApp number on my YouTube page, like on one of my videos whereby someone asked me to drop. And I want to say this, in case there will be someone that needs to hear this or there will be someone that is going to ask of the same question. So this sister messaged me on WhatsApp, which we have been chatting since morning. She's also my namesake, guys. So I want to make this clear to everyone. If you are planning to come to this country, people will tell you that the country you are coming to is Arab country. Someone will tell you that you might be forced to join Muslim, that you have to do their religion. I'm not talking about when you get here, but people are home. That is what they're going to tell you. And some will tell you that the work is stressful. Like, guys, before I was coming to this country, I had a lot of stuff. Even there are some stuff that I had then that made me to think of not coming. Like, I wanted to, like, give up. I was about to tell my agent that I'm not planning, I'm not processing the journey anymore. Because people, some people told me then that if I come to this country, they are going to force me to change my religion, to join them. I will start going to the mosque with them and I will start covering my head and all those stuff. And some people tell me that I might not come back. Even when I went to Google to chat about the Iraq, it was like there is war that is not peaceful for a stranger, all those stuff. And recently I've seen a lot of message, like people telling me that is Iraq a good place? Like is it peaceful there? Is it is there war? You see guys, since I've been in this country, this is my third year guys. I've done with my three years contract guys. I've added another year guys. So but since I've been in this country, guys, I've not experienced any war. I've not seen any war. There's no war. Even I heard before I was coming that Iraq and Iran, they had like, there is war between those two countries. And I think before I even came to this country, the war between them is being set to. So there's no more war between the Iraq country and the Iraq country anymore. Recently, not quite long, my madam also traveled to Iran. I don't think there's any war between those countries. So forget about those things that you are seeing online. I didn't say you should be coming because of what I say. I'm just trying to make it clear to some people over there that used to comment on most of other people pay that as well as those in Iraq and Baghdad, all the stuff that there's war, there's war, there's war. Forget about what you see on social media. If you want to come, you can come. And I'm not giving you the percentage assurance that okay, come, come, everywhere is peaceful because I may be peaceful where I am. I don't know where you're going to fall. Like, I don't know where, like, the city you're going to be working in. But the city I am, and most of the city I know that people are working here in Iraq because I know some Nigerians that are here. The city that they are in this country, in this country, which is peaceful, I've never heard of them saying anything about war. The only thing I will just tell you guys is that when you're coming here, pray before you come in. People are only to Arab country or people are only to Iraq doesn't mean that you have to follow them. Your path might not be in Iraq, it might be in another country, in our country. So I will advise you to pray before you are coming. Before I come to this country, I don't even have it in mind to come to Iraq. My plan was Lebanon. I was working on Lebanon. And after months that I've been doing my processing, doing everything, I was praying, 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 and everything was just failed. So Unexpectedly, I just received something from Iraq. I was like, I never have Iraq in mind. And there, here I am right now, three years now, I'm still here, and it has been peaceful. And another question, guys, that you people used to ask me, is the work stressful? I've put a lot of my videos outside there, guys, for you to see the kind of work there. I'll show you guys this in my life. You can see it, guys. The work is stressful. In the first one to six months or one year, guys, it's going to be 
hectic for you. We even regret your decision of coming. And also, guys, concerning if there is rest day or there's off day, I can't tell you that. If you are just coming to work in this country, I can't tell you you're going to have an off day, but surely, surely, you're going to have a rest day. If your madam doesn't give you any rest day, you can just tell her it might be two hours. Two hours, the most I've seen is two hours, three hours, four hours, it depends on the kind of house you're working. Like me now, sometimes I have three hours, sometimes I might have four hours. That if if my madam is not around or if my madam doesn't want to cook dinner, so and she's still resting, I will have the grace of another one hour to rest. But if possible, she's at home, like and we are cooking both morning, afternoon, and evening, I will have like two hours or three hours. So it depends on the kind of hours that you're going to work. Surely, surely you're going to have resting hours. They're going to give you resting hours. Your resting hour might fall in the morning, and some people it might fall in the evening. So that is it before you finish your night routine, then you go to bed to sleep. So that is it, guys. And concerning the off day, guys, there's no off day. Being the first two years I'm going to be spending, there's no off days. After you've done with your two years, if possible, you can tell your madam or your boss about your off day and they accept. That is good. People will ask you if there's anything you want them to do or nothing. So you can just ask, you can just tell them maybe you need a day in a week or two days in a month for them to give you off day. And if possible, they accept it. That is good. And if they don't accept, that is it. But that only happens after two years of contract. But if you're just working with them, there's nothing like that. You only have your rest day. <laughs> she said but you are determined and strong and also you have a wonderful boss that is the reason why guys that is the reason why i'm still here like the reason why i'm still in this country because i told you guys earlier that during my first day i was like after the second year i'm going home like i'm not going to spend another s21 year like s21 month because then i had a friend that we came here to this country together it's not that we came here i met her in the, at the airport then when i was coming so we started chatting then guys so when we were talking on whatsapp after the first year i was like telling her that i can't wait for the two years to come to a so i can go back to my country and she too she said the same thing so after the two years she told me uh boss wanted her to had another one year then she told my boss wanted sorry guys i'm just trying to check the message the lady was saying he sent it to me so she told me her boss wanted her to had another one year so i told her that if my boss asked me to had one month i'm going to scream like i can't like my body can't even accept it that i can't work anymore because i'm tired so then I was like a year and some months then while I was having a discussion with her, my friend. Even between that second year, I started putting myself first. I started loving myself, loving the work. I wasn't doing it as if it's a job. I started doing it as if I'm taking care of my house, like I'm in my house, not like I'm working. I, th I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. Like, you know when you're working at a particular job and you are treating the work as if I'm just doing it because it's not mine, it's for someone. There will be a way that any small thing to guys you just like explode and get mad about it. But if you start switching someone work or job or company as yours, no matter how hard it is, you will like wake up and stay pushing. You will even have to like do things that makes you happy, that helps your mental health and all the stuff. And I think I have a video about that on YouTube, things that I do that help my mental health before I start my work. That is why I love doing my stuff, my personal routine in the morning because praying to God, working out, like moving my body help, really helped me a lot, guys. It really helped me. It really calms me down before I start the daily struggle. So that is one thing, guys. So after that, yeah, the friend I'm talking about, she's back to Nigeria now. She has gone back to Nigeria. After the two years, she gone back. She was even asking me, how am I staying in this house? Even some people say, you're not staying in a big house. You're staying in a small house. How are you staying in this house? Was like it's not about the house it's about the people you are working with the kind of people you are working with the way they treat you it makes you to be like stay and still work my plan was like to make a total amount of money like to save a total amount of money before going back to my country so after my two years contract the amount of money i have in my account is not what i plan to save guys that was why i had it another one year guys so doesn't mean that the people i'm working with was not taking like they were not taking care of me like they were not kind to me there were some people that doesn't care about my well-being or doesn't care about me 
there's no way even though i didn't save any money at all guys i'm not going to had another year i'm not going to renew but because of the way they treat me so that's why i renew my contract apart from you praying about your coming to this country make sure you also pray about the family you're going to work with you have to pray to god for a kind and god fearing family and i know that god surely we hear each and every one of you prayer and also grant your heart desire. So guys, that is it guys. I hope I'll be able to answer some of the questions I've been seeing a lot in my WhatsApp and also for my email and also for my comment here on YouTube. So guys, that is it guys and I will see you guys tomorrow. time one minute to go guys i can't wait sit sharp you guys should just shoot him oh god 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 shoot him now please what are the police doing Something like this is going to happen. Okay. Don't cry, oh God. <laughs> I'm happy, baby. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another day guys. I've not been seeing anything like I've not been talking since morning when I started this vlog. I show you guys when I woke up, when I have my breakfast and also brush my teeth guys. So I am going to end to this vlog here guys and I want to add something to what I said yesterday concerning the tips about 
housemate coming or working in this country and this one i'm going to say it also involves those that are already here working and also those planning to come so guys if you know you are planning to come to this country or if you know you are already in this country i want you guys to know that all fingers are not equal because you see your fellow housemate posting about things uh madam or a boss gifted her or boss for her maybe doing her birthday or at the end of ramadan or at the end of the year or during christmas or just on a normal day guys that shouldn't bother you like that shouldn't make you feel bad or start comparison like comparing your boss or your madam with other fellow housemate madam or boss you don't have to do that guys you have to know at the back of your mind that all fingers are not equal because you are working in the same city or in the same country it doesn't mean that your boss or your madam has to be rich like the fellow housemate boss or madam also everything they are doing to you even though it's little or nothing at all you just have to be contentment with it you don't have to start comparison so guys that is it like this will be the end of today's video guys thank you so much guys for watching my videos i really appreciate each and every one of you so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe like comment down below and i will see you guys in my next upload bye